What's up guys, Rich Woods here. Welcome to yet another edition of the Cocktail Guy at Home. Uh, we're still at home. Um, I'm yet to venture back to the bar. I do hope to do so in the near future, where hopefully I'll be able to post some more content from uh, the bar that I co-own in East London called The Scout, uh, including some of our more iconic cocktails, uh, the foraging walks that we go on, the produce that we forage when we're out and about, uh, the ingredients that we make, the infusions, the distillations, the ferments that we make downstairs in our lab, uh, as well as hopefully showing you some more intimate content um, of our gadgets and gizmos, or as we like to call them, uh, the weapons and toys. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, they are designed to be super simple. Um, well, do you find them hopefully simple? Um, let me know. Um, if they are too complicated, I will simplify them if I can. Uh, but tell me guys, um, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, now, uh, a few weeks ago, in fact three weeks ago, um, Jeff, Christ, no idea where this time has gone, um, but some weeks ago I posted a picture on my Instagram page of some passion fruits uh, in a post I titled WIP or Work in Progress. And it was essentially some passion fruits infusing and then further fermenting in what was going to become a kitchen porn star or a home hack version of a porn star martini. Now, Despite several comments from a few of you asking me where the bloody hell this post has gone um, because I promised it would be out later on that week. I completely forgot guys, I'm terribly sorry. I moved on to other drinks, um, I forgot, shit happens. Um, so uh, I thought today, right here, right now, uh, we would make this cocktail. Um, so if you do like to follow these videos, uh, including all of the sub infusions and sub recipes that go into making these cocktails, please do follow the video all the way through to the end. Uh, however, for you lazy buggers out there, I'm going to post some links below uh, this video showing you guys where you can pick up the different uh, products including the passion fruit liqueur that we're otherwise going to be making and also where you can buy some vanilla vodka, here's one I've got, um, if you don't want to make your own vanilla vodka at home. Uh, now talking about the vanilla vodka, if you guys haven't checked out the citrus free sour that I made a few weeks ago, please do check it out. Um, it is uh, using yogurt that substitutes citrus in a crystal clear alternative to a sour, super simple, uber delicious, luxurious as hell. Check it out. Otherwise guys, um, if you are new to these videos, welcome, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, slap that bell uh, so you're aware of any new content and give me a thumbs up if you like the videos, comment with any questions. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I do hope we see this channel grow. Um, otherwise, I think let's crack on with this drink. So, roll. Okay guys, so the first ingredient we're gonna be making is our vanilla vodka. Now, as I said in the intro, if you're one of those super lazy guys and you cannot be bothered to make your own vanilla vodka for your home hack porn star martini, uh, I'm going to pop a link below, um, this is one of the ones that I use at home, this is Great Uses La Vanille. Um, check out the link, see where I get it from, um, get it delivered in a couple of days, no problem at all. If however you do want to make your own vanilla vodka, you're going to need the following equipment. Uh, either uh, some uh, jam jars uh, or a jam jar, mason jar or kilner jar. Um, if you're feeling a little bit more elaborate, um, you can vacuum seal and sous vide uh, the infusions. Uh, these bags I pick up on Amazon, they're about eight to 10 pounds for around about 100 bags. Uh, absolutely great. Um, and the vacuum machine, I will also pop a link below the video, uh, the machine that I use at home. Uh, relatively inexpensive, I think it's about 35 pounds. I use it for everything. Um, Otherwise, you're going to need a, um, a filter or something to filter your infusions into. Now, you don't need a pour over coffee pot if you don't have them at home. You can use a tall container, you can use a vase if you like, you can use a Boston tin or a shaker, uh, another jam jar, a funnel um, just to put a filter in. Uh, I would recommend um, getting hold of some coffee filters though, just because they help with all the super fine particles when you're infusing, especially when you're filtering rather, especially something like the vanilla seeds of the season of pot. Uh, also for the passion fruit pop in the, uh, the, uh, the passion fruit uh, liqueur we're making. Uh, so, uh, let's crack on with the first product we're going to be making, which is the vanilla vodka. I've already got uh, half a vanilla pod uh, in a jam jar, and that's about two and a half grams. Um, here's my vanilla pod. Um, if you don't want to use a vanilla pod and you're a keen baker at home and you have some vanilla extract, some vanilla essence, some vanilla flavoring, um, I would recommend approximately a teaspoon uh, for this infusion. We're going to be using 250 mils of vodka. The vodka I'm using is 40% or 80 proof. 
Um, and we're gonna pour that over our vanilla pod. Now, before I drop the vanilla pod into the jam jar, um, I split it eight ways and I just opened it up so that when we pour over the vodka and give the container a little bit of a shape to agitate that flavor, uh, the seeds will hopefully infuse with the vodka. Uh, and then when we leave them to infuse overnight, you'll get that really nice, rich, kind of creamy vanilla, cream sodary flavor in our vodka. Um, and so, as I said, if you don't want to use the vanilla pod, absolutely fine, just use the essence of the, fla the flavor. Uh, this is more than 250 mils. Um, we're going to be using vodka also in the passion fruit that's here. So I'm just going to measure out 250 mils. That's half of what's in here. Perfect. Okay. Make sure you use a sealable container. If you don't have a jam jar, a kilner, or a mason jar, and you don't use vacuum bags, take away containers absolutely fine. Just make sure that they're sealable. Give it good tight and screw, and then give it a shake. And all we're going to do is going to agitate those flavours, encourage the, the vanilla to infuse in the vodka, and set it aside. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Leave it overnight. If you're not happy with the flavour and you want a little bit more of a stronger flavouring, by all means infuse it for a little bit longer. If, however, obviously you're using the extract of vanilla flavouring, just add a little bit more flavouring, give it a bit of a stir, and then filter it after about half an hour. Okay, guys, so the second product we're going to be making for our Home Hack Kitchen Porn Star is the quintessential passion fruit liqueur. This is the one that I've made. Um, I love it. I think it's super fruity. It doesn't just taste of passion fruit, but I, I say a little bit more tropical, a bit like the original liqueur. Notes of mango and pineapple. Um, it's great, um, not just in this cocktail, but also in a spritz as well. It's fantastic, with just with prosecco and a little bit of um, a little bit of mint in a glass. It's epic. Um, pinker than you'd imagine um, from the orange pulp, uh, and that is because I'm using the skins or the shells of the passion fruit as well. So, top tip: make sure if you can buy organic, so that the fruit haven't been sprayed with any of these nasty pesticides, and make sure before you use the fruit, you give it a good wash. You're going to need four passion fruits. These are these are mighty sizes four passion fruits. You're going to need the pulp of all four, but only one of the shells, okay? You don't want all of the shells, just need one of the shells, but you need the pulp of four passion fruits. We're going to open up a kiln the jar. Cut open our passion fruits. Make sure you're careful. Okay. So, all we're going to do now, pour over our remaining vodka, 250 mils, in it goes. Now this is a little cure, but what we're not going to be doing right now is adding any dilution or any sugar. And then we're going to be adding the water and the sugar after it's been filtered. Okay, so again, sealable container. If you don't have them, takeaway containers are fine. Give it a good old shake. Leave it to infuse. Do it at the same time as the vanilla vodka as I explained earlier. Leave it to infuse overnight. Come back the next morning, give it a taste if you're happy with it. If the color's looking a bit pinkish, perfect. Filter. Uh, and then that's it. And then once that's filtered, put these to one side. Once that's filtered, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to weigh it. So then we're going to add 50% water to your end liquid. So whatever liquid you've got left over in the infusion, Filter it, add 50% water to reduce the ABV of the liqueur, and into that you're going to add 100 grams of sugar and you're going to mix it in. And that's it, and this is what you're going to end up with. This beautifully fruity, silky liqueur, which as I said, it works great, not just in this cocktail, but even in just a, a passion fruit spritz. Prosecco, a little bit of gin, this liqueur in a wine glass, ice, prosecco, job done. Boom, it's amazing. So there we have it, guys. So you've done our vanilla vodka, we've done our passion fruit liqueur, they've been done ahead of time. Now we're gonna crack on with the cocktail. Okay guys, so we've infused our products now, we've filtered them, they're ready to go, so let's crack on into the drink. Uh, so we're gonna be needing our vanilla vodka, our passion fruit liqueur. We're gonna need some fresh lime juice. Uh, here are my limes, I've already pre-squeezed a couple of limes here. Uh, we're gonna need uh, some passion fruit pulp. So we've got a fresh passion fruit, we're gonna garnish our drink with that. Um, I've already pre-cut and squeezed some passion fruit pulp, so that's ready to go. Uh, now classically, the porn star was served with a shot of uh, champagne. Um, but if you prefer some Prosecco or some Carver, so we've got that too. Um, lastly, for sweetness, if you wish, um, some sugar syrup. Um, I'm going to add a little bit uh, to mine, just a drop. Um, you can, if you wish, infuse your sugar syrup with some of your vanilla extract or your, your vanilla essence if you wish, 
or you can reuse that old um, vanilla pod once you've been feeling confused and filtered your vanilla vodka. You can chuck that into some sugar syrup and you've you know, got a nice vanilla sugar cracking in a coffee as well, so go for it if you wish. Um, otherwise, that's it, so uh, let's crack on. Uh, so we're going to start with our vanilla vodka. Now I'm going to be pouring in 45 ml, so one and a half ounces. Passion fruit liqueur. Oh, so it smells great. 30 ml, in it goes. Uh, 15 lime juice, so half a lime. And I'm going to also add some sugar syrup. This is just regular sugar syrup, but as I said, you can, if you wish, infuse it with vanilla. That's 15 as well. Okay, now the last ingredient is the pulp of one passion fruit. This is two, so there we go, half. That's amazing. Okay. Add our ice. Give it a good shake. Enjoy it. Just like to say a big shout out to my man Douglas Ankara, who was the creator of the original porn star martini. Um, I was fortunate enough to be made one or two of these back in the day um, when he created them in a townhouse bar in West London. Um, it actually doesn't live too far from me, but um, I doubt he's watching. But if he is watching, cheers, guys. I hope I did you proud, my man. Um, yeah, there we have it, guys. Um, I hope you find these recipes easy to follow. Um, please do comment, as I said, with any questions. Don't forget to slap that bell. I would slap, but I've also got the shot of uh, Prosecco in my other hand. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, also, uh, pop along to my Instagram page, check it out. I uh, hope you like the recipes there, too. Uh, keep safe, guys. Keep well. Uh, if you do venture out, don't forget to social distance. Um, and just look after yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Or do I cheers? Or oh, cheers? Oh, that's on both. Cut. That's not bad. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Cheers.